Welcome to howtocookthat.net. I'm Anne Reardon. For a printable copy of any of the recipes with quantities, simply go to the website. The link's in the description below the video. Today we're looking at how to make cream cheese frosting for carrot cupcakes or for red velvet cake. First of all, take your cream cheese, leave it at room temperature to soften, and then slice it into cubes and put it in the bowl of an electric mixer. Then take your butter, which also has been softened at room temperature, and add that in as well. Then simply turn that on to a medium speed and leave it for a few minutes until it has gone to a nice, pale, smooth, creamy mixture. Then you're going to add in two cups of icing sugar. Traditional cream cheese frosting recipes have three cups of icing sugar and then that's it. I don't like them quite so sweet, so I add two cups of icing sugar and then add in some mascarpone cheese. Fold that in lightly, then place it in a piping bag and pipe it onto your cupcakes. I then like to top the carrot cakes with a sort of carrot toffee that goes on top, which is a nice, sweet little finish to the cupcake. I'll show you how to make those. Add some sugar and some water into a saucepan. Again, the quantities are on the website. Just click the link below the video. Once that is completely mixed in and the sugar has dissolved, pour in your grated carrot that's been coarsely grated. Give it a stir, it will start to steam, so watch your hand, from the hot sugar mixture hitting the carrot and all the water in the carrot is evaporating. Now take a pastry brush and wash down the sides of the pan and without stirring, just let it bubble away until it starts to caramelise. To check it, just put a small piece on some baking paper and allow it to cool. While you're checking it, take it off the heat and then you'll know it's ready when it makes like a toffee, like that, a sticky toffee. So when it's ready, take the whole pan off and pour the whole amount onto the baking paper and using two forks, spread it out into sort of bite-sized chunks that you can put on top of your cupcakes. The size doesn't particularly matter. And then once they're completely cold, pop them on top of your cupcakes. And then you have a delicious little treat on top of your carrot cupcakes. The recipe for the cream cheese frosting and for all buttercream, ganache and fondant and lots of different frostings is now available in one neat little book that you can download in PDF form. There's a link to that in the description under the video. And thank you to everyone who's subscribed and clicked like and left comments. Really appreciate your feedback and support.